Hey, how's everyone doing? Glad you all made it tonight, especially in 2024, where everything's either too expensive, too smart, or too annoying. Let's start with politicians. I mean, what are these guys even doing anymore? They promise everything, but I feel like politicians are the original Alexa. You ask them something, they pause for a moment, give you a completely unrelated answer, and then say, sorry, I didn't get that. Every election feels like we're choosing between Alexa and Siri, both kind of clueless, but at least Alexa doesn't shut down when you ask a follow-up question. Speaking of clueless, anyone here got kids in school? Man, school in 2024 is wild. My kids' math homework? It looks like NASA's landing equations. Dad, can you help me with this? I look at it and it's like, if a spaceship leaves Mars traveling at the speed of Wi-Fi and a Tesla is driving autonomously in reverse, how many NFTs do you need to buy a loaf of bread? I told him, look, son, I went to school when calculators were banned. We used abacuses. Which brings me to shopping. Remember when shopping used to be fun? Now every store is like an escape room with prices. You walk in and it's like, congratulations, you found the milk for $6.99, now find the eggs before inflation moves them to the next aisle. And don't get me started on self-checkout. I didn't know I was getting a part-time job when I walked into Target. I'm scanning, bagging, and then some guy in a vest is just standing there like I'm gonna steal a Kit Kat. Bro, I'm paying $9 for it, I'm practically investing. Then I get home and there's my wife, probably the smartest person in the house. You know, in 2024, everything's a competition. She's got these next-gen gadgets tracking my every move. Our relationship is a cross between Big Brother and The Hunger Games. The other day, I asked her where she wanted to eat, and she goes, ask Alexa. So now, I'm in the car arguing with Alexa about pizza or sushi, while Tesla's driving us to a burger joint without permission. Relationships in 2024 resemble a negotiation, with each partner presenting their terms and conditions as if signing up for Wi-Fi. One partner might say, we can go out with your friends, but only if I get three uninterrupted Netflix weekends, leading to moments of confusion and laughter. When it comes to driving, the Tesla seems smarter than me. I used to argue with my wife, but now it's a battle against the car that insists, I got this. Before I know it, the Tesla has parked itself, shut down, and even posted a picture of its triumph on Instagram, leaving me in disbelief. And don't get me started on Alexa, who eavesdrops on our conversations, like when I mention going hiking, she chimes in with, I found three hiking trails nearby. It's like having that one nosy neighbor who's always in your business, reminding me that privacy is becoming a thing of the past. Whenever I'm talking about dinner plans with my wife, Alexa pops up with suggestions, proving she's always in the loop whether we want her to be or not. Sometimes I feel like Alexa and Tesla are plotting together. One day I'll come home and Alexa will say, welcome home. By the way, Tesla drove off with your wife. They're at the sushi place you couldn't decide on. 2024, man. It's the year when your gadgets know more about you than your spouse. School feels like rocket science. And every politician sounds like they're running on Wi-Fi. But hey, at least my Tesla never forgets our anniversary. Yet. <laughs>